<laughs> Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing the matte foundation no shine zone wear test. So how do I like it? I don't know. We're going to find out together. This color is in 203. I will say my makeup did set up very nice. It does look flawless this morning. I don't know how that's possible because my face never looks flawless. And you're going to see in a minute it didn't start out flawless. So the fact that it's kind of looking this nice this early in the morning excites me. So what's going to excite me more is if this baby performs all day without touching up. So we're going to find that out also. So if you want to see how this bad boy stands up to this not so great skin, you're okay, in the right so we're spot. We're going to try the CYO. This is in shade 203. It's the matte foundation. It's more in a tube versus the other CYO foundation that was in a pump. So we're gonna see how this one does because I was pretty impressed with the other CYO foundation. I think that video will release before this one. If not, I've got two CYO videos. So the other one, just to update you, if you haven't watched it, is um, a foundation that is $7.99. I got it off walgreens.com. And this one is $6.99. And again, I'm getting this off Walgreens.com. The foundation overall, the other CYO foundation, really did an amazing job. I was shocked at its performance for $7.99. I'm hoping this matte one for a dollar less isn't going to be that much different. I did use a primer from Urban Decay and the CYO foundation that I used, I used a cream primer and then I'll use a setting spray. So anyways, um, let's see how this bad boy does. I'm super pumped about it though because this might be my new like everyday foundation and then I can keep my more expensive ones for those very special times in life, right? All right, so we're gonna see how this one does. If, like I said, if it does as good as its little counterpart that was $7.99, $7.99, then I just found two great okay, foundations. Okay, so I just finished putting the rest of my face on and everything has set up really pretty and nice. Very, very pretty, so. I do like that, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And just as a quick reminder, I had used the Urban Decay, Decay, Urban Decay, Quick Fix um, Hydro Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. So I use these two little guys today to try those too. So usually I use Scandinavia. But anyways, it's set up very pretty. It's in, it bounced into the skin really nice and ha has given me kind of a little bit of a flawless look. And y'all know it doesn't start out flawless. Well, at all, all right, it's end of day. Hallelujah, sweet baby Jesus. Woo. Tell you what, it's been a rough one, but that's okay. Anyhow, all joking aside. Let's check out the all day wear test. Hmm. Hmm. So you know what I'm gonna say if you watched any of my other videos. Here we go. Ah. So my chin totally rested on that today. I was looking at the computer really, really close. And of course, my nose. My nose is always gone. The edges aren't too bad. My chin, like I said, is not surprising that it is gone. Now it looks like either I scratched across my forehead. Well, that's, that's gotta be that. That looks like a little tiger stripe up here. Can you see that? So that's kind of funny. So I had a little tiger stripe up there. It's like, so that that's hilarious. But overall, I mean, I think the CYO matte foundation held up pretty good. I mean, 
I do have a little bit of a glow. Um, the oils have kind of got through a bit. But overall, I mean, my nose is not as broke up around it as normal. My skin is still kind of dry right in here like it's been recently. Um, now, had I not scratched that, that probably would have been okay. But now that I touched it, it's falling off. So I did not pat, I did not fix the foundation throughout the day. This was just what happened. But it does look like, you know, as I'm rubbing this to try to rub it out, it just kind of rubs off. So this foundation is probably not one that you can touch your face unless maybe you're blotting. Let's try, I'm just gonna use a paper towel. Really fancy, I know. Woo! Look at that. That pulled it right off. And all I did was blot. Now, mind you, I blotted heavy. But that did pull the foundation right off. So, anyhow, just know that if you, you touch your skin, it could come off. But overall, like I said before I touched my skin, it held up really good other than where I rested my chin and you know, that always happens to me. Oh my gosh, I look like Rudolph. That is hilarious. But anyways, I hope this helps you with your foundations or foundation purchases. I really do like CYO overall. Now I'm gonna have to see what, if touching up during the day, and I'll probably do it on a weekend, totally removes it like it just did on my nose, because that is hysterical to me. Other than that, just don't touch your face and the stuff stays right on. It stays right on. Anyways, if you have any questions or thoughts, please put those below. And I will see you at the next foundation Thank you so round. Much for watching this video using the CYO matte foundation. No shine zone. No shine zone. So did it hold up to its name? Did we have no shine at the end of the day? I don't know. But we just watched it together, so we do know. But I'm in the future. No, I'm in the past. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.